today we're going to be talking about riding with the passenger. First things first, I would not do this if you're new to riding. Um, you really don't want to Another person on a year bike that you don't know how to ride. It's probably not a smart idea. However, the way that I kind of approached it was like, hey, once I got comfortable enough riding my own bike, I was like, okay, cool, like I, I feel comfortable putting a girl on it. Or a dude. And it was kind of a it's kind of a conversation where Every time I put someone new on the bike, I'm kind of just like, hey, you know, there's a certain set of rules and whatnot that I'm going to ask you to do. A pretty simple list. Oh. You really, dude, you squeeze my nuts. You, you squeeze my nuts so hard into the tank. And I guess the first rule is probably what she just did right there. Which is paying attention to the lights. I need you to pay attention just as much as I'm paying attention. Um, it's not like in a car where the person can just kind of zone out. I'm not saying she can't like look around and whatnot, but just knowing like, hey, the light turned green, I'm gonna put it into gear. Um, that's probably rule number one. Rule number two, which I always really try to stress, is like, hey, please try to lean with me. So, you know, if we're turning, if we're turning left, I want your head to be on the inside of the turn. If we're turning right, I want you to be on the inside right part of the turn, right? So, and, and I don't mean like lean over, like knee drag, but just kind of like stay with me. It's harder for me to turn if, oh hello, it's harder for me to turn if obviously if the passenger is just kind of like going the exact opposite direction, you know, so that's a big one and that just kind of takes time. Especially if it's someone who's never been on a bike before, they're not gonna know that off the rip. So you gotta kind of be patient with them and just ride carefully. Um, I don't know, those are kind of the two big ones. And then obviously like, hey, when we come to a stop, don't put your feet down. Just hang out right there. Don't throw me off the edge of the bike. But. And this is kind of personal preference, but having her put her hands on the tank instead of on me is kind of nice. Because it keeps her from, you know, sliding too far forward when we start braking. But it also doesn't like push me so far into the tank. Um, and then I guess rules for you as the rider, like, dude, you gotta keep in mind you're, you're carrying another person on the back of the bike, so don't do shit that is outside of your control. Like, your ego definitely needs to be at the door. You don't know how to wheelie don't wheelie with a passenger even if you do know how to wheelie don't wheelie with a passenger unless it's in a small parking lot where it's like you you both know what's going on um, something I always do with her is like whenever I'm about to speed up or do a wheelie or something like that I just like tap her hand like one to three times and she you know holds me a little bit tighter and she just kind of straps in next biggest thing is going to be your braking. Obviously, if you have an extra 100 to 150 pounds on your bike, 
you know, that's gonna slow down your braking a lot. So you gotta be able to kind of handle that and be aware of that. You know, I try to keep a, a little bit bigger of a space cushion than I normally would. Like here, I'm trying to keep an extra like one to two car lengths and sort of preemptively brake because I know it's gonna take me longer. So if someone in front of me slams on their brakes and I have an extra 150 pounds that I'm trying to carry on this thing, that's an extra 150 pounds that needs to be slowed down. I like that truck, that is a sweet truck. Also, I'm trying out some new camera settings. So obviously I'll see it, you know, kind of in uh, post before you guys see it, but let me know how you like it. A um, little bit of a wider view. Should have kind of some better motion blur, I guess. Um, and we're filming in 5.3K versus the standard 4K. It'll probably be downgraded to 4K just to, you know, not break my computers backbone. Um, your turning radius obviously isn't going to be as good. I mean, I, mm, maybe that's not true. It can be if the person you're riding with is, is leaned over as much as you and you know what you're doing and so do they, then you might be able to have perfectly fine turning radius. Um, but generally speaking, it's going to be a little bit harder to turn. You might want to take turns a little bit slower, a little bit wider. I think that kind of just applies to everything. Take things a little bit slower. And I know that's, you know, it's tempting when you throw a chick on your bike to want to like show off and be like, oh no, we're gonna do all the cool fun stuff. But if that girl doesn't know you and know how you ride, she's not gonna be ready for that stuff. Especially if it's her first or second time being on a bike. Another thing to help you out too when you're riding is squeezing the tank with your knees because when you have somebody else that's leaning forward on you, like that puts a lot of weight onto your wrists. So I'm kind of trying to squeeze my tank a little bit right now so that that weight can kind of be transferred to my legs and back into the bike whereas, you know, all of her weight being put onto my hands, because that's kind of rough. I mean, as you can see, like right now, well, I guess you probably can't see, but she's just kind of moving her head back and forth, left to right side of me, based on, oh, based on like what's comfortable for her, what she wants to look at. And that's totally fine, because we're not, we're not turning, we're not leaning anywhere. If she puts her head on the outside of the turn, then it's just like, it's, it's the same as when you were learning how to ride. It's like, you're kind of like reverse counterbalancing or counter steering, I mean. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, it, her weight's going the exact opposite direction than where you're trying to go. So the bike just kind of wants to auto-correct to being in the middle instead of actually just dedicating to the turn. So, I mean, if you've never ridden with a passenger before, you gotta be dialed with the way that you ride first and then go from there. Because I think if you already know what you're doing and you can explain it well enough to the person you're taking on a ride, you'll probably be fine. Um, but it's where guys get on their bike and they don't know what they're doing or they try to do shit that they don't know how to do with another person. Um, that's how people get hurt. That's how things go bad. So just try to have like that conversation, like, hey, babe, you wanna go on a ride? Sure, and then obviously she's gotta have, you know, at least a helmet. I don't really let her ride in like leggings or shorts or anything like that. Gotta have closed toes shoes. Um, at, you know, I have minimum. And obviously more gear is better, but you know, if she just wants to wear like cargo pants um, or jeans, I'm not saying that's the best, but it's certainly better than just wearing some sexy outfit, because um, that isn't gonna do anything. 
but just have that conversation with it like hey let's go for a ride I know you haven't done this before so just a couple of ground rules you know we're gonna lean this way with me um, I'm gonna tap you and we're gonna do something crazy you know stuff like that right there she knew when I made that turn that I was gonna gas it a little bit um, so she held on a little bit tighter Right there I tapped her and she knows like okay he's gonna speed up or he's gonna do something crazy I'm gonna hold on tight and then everyone's good and I left enough space between me and the car ahead of me that I wasn't getting too close so if I needed to you know break really quickly or something happened you know I didn't have to get into that situation I don't know those are kind of the big things it's really not too hard um, it's not too bad as long as you have someone who's open-minded and they're willing to listen to you and you're someone who's worth being listened to um, you should be fine you know just have some confidence with it ride slowly ride carefully don't be a jackass yeah I think you should be fine that's kind of the big stuff so I don't really have a whole lot else to say. I'm gonna enjoy my date night, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.